Cheers. Cheers. If you meet somebody, you know, at a bar or on the street and you get talking with them, what do you say? You say I'm a hat maker? Lately, they all think that I'm uh, in a band, which they don't want to hear me play an instrument or sing. Rass red wine, and I'm a hat maker. You know, I've been messing with hats since I grew up at the ranch, and anytime one got stepped on or messed with or the heat made it shrink, we uh, steamed it with a teapot and, you know, uh, stretched it with our own heads or whatever, had stretchers around and kind of learned how to reshape it that way. And, that was just kind of my, my first step of learning how to train the shape of hats and, and, and work with, with felts. And uh, just growing up on the ranch, enjoying the artistic life and, and the outdoors, more of the cowboy way of growing up. Um, kind of all that put together brought me right here. It's been what I wake up for in the morning. I like being able to, to make a hat um, what I believe is the right hat for each individual. There's all kinds of just crazy shapes, unusual shapes, or, or just the open crown. Just every little detail changes the look of a hat, whether the, it's curled up with a little bit of cowboy curl, or if you keep it flat, just changes the look um, instantly. The hardest part for me was learning how to use a sewing machine. I never thought I'd sit in front of a sewing machine my whole life, but I do every day now. You want to get the good 90 degree angle crease from the crown to the brim transfer before you sew the sweatband in. The sweatband, which is a leather sweatband, and you always want to use a good soft leather and uh, something that's going to stand up to, to, to sweat and wear and tear and uh, it's something that's not going to shrink. And then, uh, then after that, the fun part is putting the decorative band on the outside, which some can take 10 minutes, some can take 17 hours. And you gotta be in the right mindset of uh, making something that shows your creative attitude or your style. You know, you don't stop learning something new every day, uh, little tricks uh, and, and things to, to work with. So that, that's what I love about it. You just can't stop being creative. A hat tells a story, and my grandfather instilled that in me, and the way you treated it showed a lot of respect on, on how you thought about a lot of things. Just looking at him, I, I can learn a lot.